Well, Vietnam is among a dozen countries that are home to the Asian elephant, the largest land mammal on the continent. But loss of habitat and conflict with humans is driving the animal to the brink of extinction. Only about 130 are left in the wild in Vietnam. CNS Tungo heads to one of their last remaining habitats to find out how the country is trying to give these elephants a fighting chance. These forest rangers are on the front line of Vietnam's efforts to protect its wide elephants. Here they are using camera chaps for the first time to monitor and collect data about the population in Cat Tien National Park in southern Dong Nai. The data will allow researchers to come up with strategies to conserve the herd. Nguyen Thị Mai is a lead researcher in the project. And this is what she found. They have recorded and profiled 27 Asian elephants over the past one and a half years. That's nearly double the previous population estimates here. <laughs> but Mrs. Mai is realistic about the prospects for the critically endangered animal. I joined a group of researchers going deep into this forest to follow the trail of the white elephants. But this was closest we got. Fresh dung left behind can offer valuable insight into the elephant's diet and behavior, and also the dangers they face. Humans are the biggest threat to Vietnam's white elephants. The clearing of land destroys their habitats, leading to encounters like this. <laughs> Hungry elephants also raid and destroy farms. This man was attacked by a wild elephant in April when he was trying to protect his crops and his two cows. This incident put Vietnam's last elephants at risk of revenge attacks. In the past, some farmers, fearing for their livelihoods, took matters into their own hands. Chính xác là khi mà phá hoại thì người ta sẽ đổ thuốc. This stopped when rangers built 75 kilometers of electric fence inside Katia National Park to keep elephants and humans apart. Đặc biệt là có một số trường hợp gây chết người và thậm chí là voi đã bị chết. Có có lần nhiều nhất là đã chết đến 9 cá thể trong một năm. Đó, thì sau khi hàng đầu điện đưa vào hoạt động á, thì cái 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 tình trạng mà voi rừng mà chết mà do nguyên nhân là xung đột á, thì gần như là được chấm dứt. But measures like this could also create new problems. Separating elephants and people at a landscape level, like protected areas and outside, is not coexistence. That is separation, and that is generally not the best for elephants. Most methods of Protecting crops, including traditional crop guarding, chasing elephants, elephant response teams, all these are based on aggression towards elephants. It will make the elephants more and more aggressive towards people. So as a result, conflict increases. So you kind of get into an arms race with elephants. Observers say Vietnam's approach to solving the conflict needs to change to take into account the needs and welfare of the elephants. While conservation efforts have seen limited results so far, the findings of the researchers in Dong Nai will help shape a new national action plan for Vietnam's wild elephants 
over the next decade. Tùng Ngô, CNA, Đồng Nai, Việt Nam.